Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Some one of you want to know how do I color the skin tones, especially with Zena colors. Well, this method, my method, works with any brand. So you can use it with Prisma color, with Zena color, with uh, uh, Brut Funer, with Faber Castell. It doesn't matter. What matter is that uh, we will learn how to color skin tones. Well, uh, to color skin tones is not easy, especially for beginners, but uh, I will try to explain you uh, which colors I use and uh, what I do while coloring. This um, method works for realism, it works for uh, anime style, it works for fantasy style. Uh, well, I'm not doing something difficult because uh, it's just uh, something I made for beginners. So if you want to see many tutorials about uh, the realism, uh, about uh, any other style, I will share the links in the description and in comment section. And um, at the end of the video, I will drop two or three videos about uh, two topics. Anyways, let's start. I'm making a um, three different sketch. As you can see, I'm not following any reference. I'm just drawing um, three different phases uh, from uh, my imagination. So I'm just making three new characters. <laughs> okay, now I'm showing you every single color I'm using. This is Zena color brand and I'm using Zena colors because um, someone of you asked me how to blend anime skin with Zena colors. But as I've said before, you can use any brand, it doesn't matter really. The most important is that you choose similar colors as uh, I'm showing you. What the purple? What green? Yes, we can use two scores as well to blend our skin tone. And uh, now I will show you why, where, and when. As you can see, I'm using a black Stabilo Trio black color because my Zena black. Is not <laughs> alive anymore. Uh, anyways, in the first method I use black to create uh, the shadow areas and then I blend it with a sienna color. After that I switch colors and I use the skin tones, the pinky ones, a salmon one. I will leave you the picture of the colors I'm using at the end of the video by the way. And uh, then at last I use Sienna color to adjust uh, the depth. Now I'm showing you the color tones just to let you see which colors I've used. Now let's move to the second method which is also my favorite one and uh, that's because I love this color on the skin tone. This color is the marrow one. It's a kind of a bloody brown and I like to mix it with uh, lilac and salmon colors because it's like if uh, it turns, turns off the colors but at the same time it uh, gives them uh, brightness. When I will add the salmon color near to this liliac or up to this liliac, um, the effect is very very cool. Here I'm showing you again the colors I've used until now on this second drawing. And now I will use a totally different method on the last one. This is a method uh, that I use every time I want to play a little with colors and give uh, a reflected light effect. So I'm using this green and then the fuchsia and uh, 
which is the, the pink and then the sienna, then the light pink, salmon and I will keep switch colors just to have fun coloring and in the end I add the darker colors, for example the maroon one or the black. I use the fuchsia or magenta or pink only on the cheek area and we can also play with the orange color. Now again I'm showing you the colors I used for the third example. And a very good suggestion I can give you is to use a white color to blend uh, uh, the skin tones. So I am not using Zena white color because it doesn't write. So uh, about the white color I suggest you to buy a Brut Funer or Prisma color or um, white color that really works on the drawings. And now I will show you what happened. I'm using Brut Funer white color and that's a really great brand and I'm using it starting by the lighter areas and uh, blending it over the, the sides I want. At the last I'm adding details with the black color just to don't let the inking vanish and uh, yeah I'm coloring the eyes now. I think that's all. Even, even if you buy expensive pencil colors and you are a beginner, you cannot have the same result as uh, someone who draw for 10, 20, 40, 6, years and that's normal uh, so all I can suggest you is that uh, if you truly have passion don't give up don't give up because uh, things come with time and uh, you will learn everything you need to learn and uh, you will also have your own style if you don't know yet what's your style and if you don't have a style and you want to do Realism, which is a style itself as well, but is more more about copying. So it, it's not something you have in mind and just throw, because you have to follow reference, because you will do portraits. Keep, go, don't let uh, um, yourself discourage you. <laughs> you need to be your friend the friend of yourself and you need to understand that uh, improvements come with time. There is no way to rush hard. There is no way to rush um, in general when you want to learn something. So that's just my suggestion. Okay, thank you very much for watching my video. If you want to ask me something, if you want me to do many reviews, uh, if you want me to do many tutorials, just uh, write me in the comment section and I will reply you and I will try to, to help you out if I can. So yeah, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe and to share my video. See you soon!